So what we have here at the EcoFest is a $110 micro house for the homeless. This is a mobile homeless unit. We are going to be making 40 of these on May 29th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's Sunday at the Nevada County Food Bank parking lot. And basically the reason why we're making 40 of these is because Hospitality House is closing their doors for the summer on the 31st and that means 40 people are actually going to be homeless. Uh, relegated out into the woods and what I've discovered uh, in my work now with the homeless is that if you don't have your basics met, we're talking food and shelter, it's actually impossible for you to even go beyond that and think about a job and pull yourself up. So what we're doing is we're trying to make a mobile unit that one or two people can move around. There's rickshaw handles, there are wheels, there's a door, there's a hatch for circulation, there's mosquito netting, it's waterproof, it's quiet, it's raised off the ground so you don't get saturated in these storms. And, it, and when you close it down, it feels like a cocoon, and yet there's plenty of light and uh, air when you open it up. And um, this is what I call a guerrilla love project. It's a, it's a real radical idea, but basically it's trying to deal with the uh, issues we're facing today in a fast and furious and creative way. If you want more information, if you're on Facebook, you can go to the Gorilla Love, um, what's it called? Sorry, Gorilla Love Project. And uh, my name is Renette Senum. You can always contact me too at 470-8381. And to let you know, Gorilla Love Project is operated by an ad hoc group of community volunteers aiming to change the world for the better, fast and effectively with wild creative imagination. And the Micro House is the first project out the door.